stuff. The stuff you want. Uh, not the wet shit that you can't do anything with. No. Good. Uh, man and balls, no. subjects. 
the, the thing is that, that Britain is a fucking literal class society. But anyway, like, they have our kind of culture war, anti-mask, anti-lockdown sentiment, but where does it go, politically? Where is it going? I don't know. I mean, there's less of it to channel because people are less psycho there, but uh, it's got to go somewhere. Are they actually doing Brexit at the end of the year? Did they kick the fucking can down the road again? Because if they got another extension, then it's never going to happen, and it'll just be this forever, which is the perfect metaphor. The perfect metaphor. You have this thing, the concept of Brexit, that would represent a genuine break with the current like European uh, trade order. And like the state system, honestly, if you talk about Ireland. Uh, and that's essentially something the system cannot absorb at the moment, so it can't happen. But you can't just cancel it because that would obviate the fiction of democratic participation by these subject governments. So you just kick the can down the road eternally. I think that's honestly more likely than them ever hitting a hard deadline, is them just never, just always kicking it down the road. Someone joked once that in 50 years there will be a weird ritual that nobody understands the purpose from, where a guy in a powdered wig has to take the, ch the fucking channel over to France and then like walk, so a, like a road to Canosa thing to, uh, to Brussels with a parchment and then give it to a livery guard in front of the uh, uh, e uh, EU parliament. And nobody even knows why he's doing it, but it's like a ritualized extension of the deadline. I don't think it's like the debt. The debt is, the debt is literally not real. The debt's not real. But like, the, 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 uh, the political crisis, the, the legitimacy crisis at the heart of European governance is very real. And Brexit is a reflection of it. And the question like, that, that, that matters to policymakers is how much does that get channeled into political uh, power that can no longer be contained by the rickety structures of the European Union? That's a real question. And they don't want to get an answer because it might be the wrong one. And one way to postpone that reckoning is by postponing Brexit and Netflix. countries on earth but two are debtors. Who do they owe the money to? It's like Brunei and the Vatican are the only countries on earth that aren't in debt. Who the fuck are they in debt to? Aliens? It's not real. In the sense that it is not real the way that your personal debt is. As if you can be like be beggared by it. Because you're only being beggared by your debt because it's also, it's a, it's a instrument of coercion. It is a fiction designed to get compliance. What that means is there's never going to be some reckoning point. Whereas Brexit, the definition of that vote was at some point in the future we're leaving the EU. So that has an actual timeline to it as opposed to the debt shit where they just point at the number and like frantically just gesture and say, it's so big. Like that meme of the, the porn star going, looking at the national debt as And possible. you're just supposed to infer that that's supposed to mean something. It's supposed to have brought the end of the world for the last 30 fucking years. It's supposed to have brought And every single time we have ever gotten close to paying off debt or balancing our budget, the politics instantly turns away from surplus to getting the end of the as quickly as possible. Bill to Clinton something. actually balanced the fucking budget, which now seems to like an impossibility and essentially is. And honestly, shouldn't be done. He shouldn't have done this. It was bad to do.
isn't a fully, uh, like, subordinated uh, political unit like the United States, because these are our separate countries that were never really integrated at the political level. That was always supposed to come later in the EU. The EU not really integrated at the political level. That was our, our separate countries that were never really integrated at the political level. That was always supposed to come later in the EU. The EU never really integrated at the political level. That was always supposed to come later in the EU. The EU is not taking the can out of the Everything that the EU is built on is predicated on a political, uh, is, uh, a tightening of political tie that does not happen. And that in the absence of, we render any long term crisis unmanageable, is what we've seen in the Britain since 2008. Which is why they'll just keep them in the EU by prolonging it forever. They don't want them to leave. And these dumbasses don't really have any incentive to seeing the price of completed either. Because it would be bad. I guess I, I don't know. Maybe they're making it up. I have no idea. Like I said, I've said before, the whole question of like how the catastrophic said that a million times. Shut the fuck up. You've not left. You're not out of the EU. Shut up. I watched some of that about Michael Caine's song. I actually watched that. Because that was cool. Big. I think it was two or two. I don't know what it was. Multi-night series about Lithgow plays Effie, which is a great character, perfect, long, uh, other fucking ectomorph, uh, blue blood, killed the mask, and uh, and, uh, Bob Hoskins played Churchill, which is pretty funny, considering that Churchill was a literal lord, descended from Marvel, and high, the highest of the uh, blue, no, blue as the blood, and Bob Hoskins fucking uh, copy now, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then fucking Michael Caine played Solomon with a half-assed Russian accent. It was fun. Yes, Churchill, that was half American. Mom. All right, thank you. Someone says I'm fun. I, I know this is very different. I wouldn't have any sense
blonde, creepy blonde hair. Like the kind of kid you're like, ooh. Like I had the white blonde hair. And when it started darkening, but I never, I didn't feel like the blonde blonde until I was, you know, in my teenagers. And then after puberty, it got darker and darker. Which is a very common thing. So, but it never got to the point where I felt like it left blonde. But then, red came out of nowhere as soon as other people like started coming together and trying to say what my color, or hair, the color of my hair was. Yes, I had track of wolf boy hair. I don't, I don't watch that shit, but yes, that was my hair color.
sees all times through the lens of, uh, of post uh, okay. Felix is on there too? Is he on the first page though? I'm on the, I'm on the first line. I'm on the top line. Uh, okay. That page. Uh, I mean, my God. Uh, just... Okay. I mean, my God. Uh, just off the top of 
I have a hot couch. I can keep it just be on top of everyone hot couch on certain demographics, but just be on top of everyone hot couch in a way that created like a spontaneous collective Proustian reverie where thousands of people in the country are seeing things that they did. I think it's because I came to it later and I thought the more movies. I mean, there's too many layers of abstraction between me and the zeitgeist. I'm, 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 there's too many layers that I thought the more movies. I'm looking at the other figure out. I mean, I'm at the later. I, uh, this is too many layers that I, I think it's because I came to it later and I thought the thought for me and I'm at the later. I, uh, this is too there's too many layers of abstraction. I think it's because I can't do later cycles. I can't do any more. Because I can't do it later, I thought for more movies. There's too many layers of abstraction. I think it's because I can't do it. There's too many layers of abstraction between me and the later cycles. I can't do any more. There's too many layers of abstraction. I think it's because I can't do it. There's too many layers of abstraction between me and the later cycles. I can't do any more. There's too many layers of abstraction. I think it's because I can't do it. There's too many layers of abstraction between me and the later cycles. I can't do any more. There's too many layers of abstraction. Thank you. 
brought into hegemonic uh, cultural power. That's how you fucking die like a rock. You have to destroy this thing, you know, so you have to move by the structure of unity. Because the white working class isn't going to do shit anymore than they are. American descendants of slave people that think they're going to get reparations from white America by yelling at them online all day? That's not going to happen either. There is no commercial vision of liberation that is not multicultural and multi multiracial. Because that number is our only weapon to have. We don't have power. The numbers can only die. Any politics that demands separation and stacking privileges on top of each other will be destroyed and broken into those factions that will then be turned against one another. By the way, stacking privileges on top of each other will be destroyed and broken into those factions that will then be destroyed against one another. I can't believe I'm being so